moving right along. Now, ladies and gentlemen, because of that shit, you get an extra minute. How's that sound? Put it together right now, ladies and gentlemen. Six minutes of Brian Whitlow. I don't got no jokes. <laughs> Love people. I don't got no jokes. I'm about to just tell you bullshit. <laughs> How it is for real. You know, today the first right. Y'all know what come out on the first right. Oh, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Those stamps come out in the first. We getting it in at Walmart. Let me tell you. I was at Walmart. I seen the little boy, you know. He said, Mommy. Give me the damn chips. <laughs> Give me the damn chips. She said, stop it. Right now. I'm serious. Man, you know what happened that was me. My mama. <laughs> Only thing we get is, keep fucking up. <laughs> keep fucking up. See what that is. Damn motherfucker, let me tell you, I went to my cousin's house, right? He gay. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff to go on with the gay house, you know what I'm saying? So we over there, you know what I'm saying? This dude, he always fuck with me. Little skinny for everybody, dude. You know how to gay nigga. He opened the door, he walk in and shit. I'm high, I'm like, what's good, man? He like, nothing, what you want? I'm like, what my cousin at? He like, look, for real, stop all that. I'm like, look, man, I don't want no trouble today. Shit, cool. Let me holler at him real quick. He like, I ain't damn. So I go in the house. It's all dudes in the house. And the only word I hear is, girl, you better stop. Girl, move. Girl, get my 27 piece off the counter. Like, so I'm like, I'm going. go in the kitchen, get something to drink. We chilling. I'm like, look, yo, for real, I know you don't like me, but you can chill out with that shit, B. He like, what is you talking about? Ain't nobody even fucking with you. I say, look, yo. <laughs> go ahead with that bullshit, B. He big, so I'm... You know, I'm like, look, man, you know, I'll fuck your ass up. He like, I will fuck you up. I say, dog, me? Nah, beat your ass, then I'll fuck you up some more. He said, you know what, I will fuck you. <laughs> I say, yeah, you you out of my ass. <laughs> you ain't getting that, eh? Let me tell you, though, me and my man being right here, you know how we do. We was, we was driving downtown. We was in La La Land, you know what I'm saying, my man, the coach at. We was in La La Land. We stopped at Church's Chicken. How do you run out of stuff that you're supposed to have? So we pull up, boom. He like, welcome to Church's, we don't have no breasts, legs, stags, and wings. I said, so what y'all selling? Macaroni and coleslaw. Ain't this so big? Ladies out here getting their damn, I don't see too many ladies tonight. Well, I'm telling you, ladies, take care of your feet, because that's important. I ran up on the chick, you know, she had the, the French roll on the front. The French roll on the front. The back of her foot looked like a goddamn ashtray, you ever seen? You know how I dump it out? Pinky toe looked like a burnt cigarette and shit. Feet all funny. What a big girl. Y'all don't like, like big girl? Like big girl? You don't like her? You don't like big girl? I fucks with the big girl. It's just when you making love to the big girl, you can't pump. You gotta work the ankles and ride the wave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta ride the wave. <laughs> you ready? I'm in there, right? <laughs> big girls be down here. You know what I'm <laughs> big girl, let me tell y'all some dope. Fellas, this right here. It'll save your marriage. Relationship. <laughs> Go around the room with it. You see, look, he's like, what is that, dude? Come on. I'm going to teach you left something, something. Be ready? Look, man. You get a butt beezy. You know what that is. Everything off. Comb. Socks and all. Lay on the bed. Let me see. That's in the dark, though. Okay. Don't do this in the lights. It's over. No, no, no more good. You wait. What are you saying? Watch it. Look at the left. Do that right here, the white. Mm -hmm. Watch me now. 
<laughs> that, that's how you check it. <laughs> Quick jump, bing. Smell it. She right. You eat it all to her. It ain't gonna eat it. Don't lie. You, look, he got the sales. I know he does something. Got the feet out. I see you, Pepper. Don't worry about it, though. But I'm telling you. Another thing. Yeah. Hey, they just got me all messed up. I'm telling you, though. Damn, that's it. I was about to stop working. <laughs> I thought everybody else was working. I'm about to work. Ugh. Let me tell you one more thing. I always use this one. My cousin, right, every time I call him, you know, you don't never know who you calling, who picking up, what's up, or none of that. I call him up, you know. He always got like a little, you know, a little sensitive ringtone. You must have never heard me. You must have never heard me. I have another Hello. I'm like, what's good, B? People like, why? Who is this? I'm like, it's Brian, man. Your cousin Brian? Mm, Ryo! <laughs> Little Black Brian, Tracy son. Mm. We used to live together? I'd be like, yeah, Mount River Buck. Oh, what's good, nigga? I ain't doing shit with Chillin'. <laughs> Anybody here seen the BT Awards? No. Y'all watch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't watch BT up in here. They honor my man Prince. Y'all know you I know y'all like Prince. Y'all like Prince. You like Prince? Purple Rain. Purple Rain. <laughs> my man Prince got on stage and sang. <laughs> I would like to thank Jehovah. <laughs> Ah, uh, he walking up. One more, one more. Bing. One more. That's it. All right. Well. Hold on, man. Let me take my coat off. Tangled up. But yeah, man. Shit crazy. Anybody got any kids out here, man? Kids? Man, my daughter getting to that stage where she wanted to know everything. Everything. Like, I had a picture of Pinky. Y'all know Pinky. What the fuck is that? What a porn star. Y'all know Pinky. Oh, he good. All right, well, I'm about to get up out of here, man. Y'all niggas be easy, man. Thank y'all. I can't clap for me? Okay, good. All right, there you go. I was like, there you go. I mean, you better clap, motherfucker. Shit. He's going to be gone. You're going to be in the bathroom. Well, where you go? Two more to go. Here we go. Coming up right now, putting together with Mr. Chris Martin, everybody. Woo. Enjoy the mass exodus. Oh, it's always been my goal to clear a room. Okay, this is a sad night for me. Last night I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy. Unfortunately, my Alzheimer's progressed to the point where I can no longer memorize my set, so I hope you'll bear with me while I read this out loud. Today is Canada Day, or as I like to refer to Canada, America's mini-me. Canada sucks so hard that 43,000 Americans died in Vietnam rather than move there. I just flew in from the Gulf of Mexico, and boy, my arm is tired. Not to mention covered with oil. BP tried to stop the leak with a technique called a junk shot, where they pumped golf balls, shredded tires, and broken Obama campaign promises into the blowout preventer. Thanks for the random hooting. BP no longer stands for British Petroleum. Now it's the initials for Barack's problem. The oil spills out of control. The other day, my goldfish coughed up a tarball. It was funny when I tweeted it. It's so bad, I was changing the oil in my car and I found a dead pelican. It's the biggest oil slick to hit Louisiana since Little Richard's hair. BP has tried everything else to soak up the oil spill. It's time to take off the gloves and unleash the Chia Pets. My psychic told me that joke would suck. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have to wait for the iPhone 4. Maybe there's a cap for that. 
<laughs> I can't wait for the oil black and shrimp specials at Red Lobster. CEO of BP had to retire after lying about a gay affair with a Canadian. You can insert your own joke here about offshore drilling. <laughs> I was distraught when I heard that Dennis Hopper died. I bet serious money he would be the next movie star to check out. Perhaps I should say choke out, like David Carradine. Sausage King Jimmy Dean is dead at 81. He had an unfortunate encounter with Grinder Girl. Dean wasn't cremated, so much for out of the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> it was an open skillet funeral service. Dean was buried in a giant biscuit, smothered in gravy. People in the South are really upset. The flag has been flying at half mast to Cracker Barrels everywhere. Gary Coleman was cremated. Unfortunately, a funeral attendant sneezed, so there aren't any ashes left to scatter. What do you call a cremation urn in Sudan? What? A minute bowl. <laughs> Gun control advocates are upset because Starbucks allows people to carry guns in their stores. Now you can get six shots in your espresso instead of a double. According to the New York Times, the world's most expensive coffee beans are extracted from the dung of the civet, a Southeast Asian animal. It's just a matter of time before you can order a crappuccino from Starbucks. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis celebrated Father's Day she was really surprised when all the gifts were for her. I took the activity challenge, didn't turn me into a movie star with large breasts, so I asked for my money back. <laughs> Bad news, the FTC just forced Kellogg's to withdraw their claim that Rice Krispies boost your immune system. They did so on the advice of their head nutritionist, Count Chocula. Good news, Rice Krispies now have 50% more crackle. <laughs> Anyone watching the World Cup? I thought so. There's a fine line between narcolepsy and World Cup fever. Elton John just performed for $1 million at Rush Limbaugh's wedding. Apparently also played piano. Nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you. That's my time. That my name's Chris Martin, and thank you for my thank you for your sympathy. Chris Martin, everybody, one more time for Chris Martin. Woo! They pay? <laughs> Just kidding. Shut up. You're a dick. Ah, moving right along. Last one, everybody. We made it. Unless y'all want to go up, you want to go? Just kidding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no thanks. I, I, I haven't even seen this guy in a while, so I hope he's still here. Uh, Chad Barron. Oh, there he is, hiding under the light. There you go. It's Chad. He's the last one. Clap it up for Chad. Thanks, Chad. I guess I can put a headline around my resume now. Hell's yeah. I was on uh, Google. The other day, and I've been on Google 8 million thousand flipping times, but I never noticed the other button. There's the search button, and then there's the I'm feeling lucky button. You guys ever see that? And I kind of always want to hit the I'm feeling lucky button because I'm like, well, what if something lucky happens? Like I get magically whisked away to a yacht in the Caribbean with Jessica Alba. But then I don't hit the I'm feeling lucky button because I'm like, well, what if it's a trick and something bad happens? Like I get whisked away to a dirty broom closet with Ben Roethlisberger. Because I would not be lucky at all. I wonder why Sham Wow is not helping out with this oil spill? These guys could soak this thing up in three days and still have plenty of time to go back and fight with hookers. I don't have any kids, but if I ever have a little kid and he's afraid of the dark, I'm going to buy him a pair of night vision goggles. Then I'm going to bust up into his room in the middle of the night wearing my Wolfman mask. See, it's better be afraid of the dark, wasn't it, dummy? Also, if I ever have a little kid, I want to teach him how to listen from an early age. So I'm going to take a pair of false teeth, 
stick them on in the curb in front of my house, wait for them to walk out of the house, then I'm going to yell, next time you better listen to me, invisible man, and stomp the teeth into oblivion. <laughs> then he'll walk outside and be like, Daddy, you hurt the invisible man. That's right, Jamal. And you better listen to Daddy from now on, otherwise you're going to get curb stomped too. You gotta teach them to listen from an early age because I don't believe in spanking your kids. But I do believe in having strippers spank your kids. <laughs> it's kind of like a double punishment. Not only do your kids get spanked, but they have to cough up $20 of their hard-earned allowance to pay the lady. <laughs> I was drinking milk over at my aunt's house the other day on the carton. She said, oh my God, Chad. I said, what? She said, that's my missing son in the back of that milk carton. I said, oh, so that's Phil in my basement. <laughs> Got him on a little droid phone the other day. This phone really can do anything. Anything it wants. Woke up in the middle of the night, caught this thing trying to hump my TiVo. Gave my TiVo a virus, wiped out everything I was recording on there, including season seven of Seinfeld. Now we'll never know if Jerry reconciles his relationship with the soup Nazi. <laughs> I think uh, since Betty White is the last living golden girl, she should get her own Highlander movie. Highlander. White seduction. There can be only one. I have a message for Dippin' Dots. It's been 15 years. You are not the ice cream of the future. Stop it. Dippin' Dots couldn't even take out, take out Neapolitan, let alone vanilla. Dippin' Dots is kind of like a paddle boat. You think it's going to be a lot of fun, but once you get going, it just sucks. You guys ever wonder how blind people pick up the poop from their seeing eye dogs? <laughs> so that's not something you want to have to feel around for. Do they make an app for that, or are those dogs so badass they just pick up that shit themselves? <laughs> I don't think tug of war is a very good example of war at all. You want to make that game better? Put a landmine in the middle. <laughs> you know those U log videos I make around Christmas time? It's for people that can't afford a real fireplace. It's a video of a fireplace. They have some Christmas music playing in the background. You play it on your TV. I want to make one of those for potheads, but instead of a fireplace, it can have a lot of lamp. And instead of Christmas music in the background, it can have like the Grateful Dead. And every once in a while, a bag of Funyuns will come floating through the screen. I think it'd be really easy to roofie the Kool-Aid man, because he doesn't have a lid on his head. You just walk up behind him and drop it in. Then you can cart him away to a dirty broom closet where Ben Roethlisberger will be waiting. I'm Chad Barron. Thanks a lot, guys. You didn't record that part? I fucking called him the headliner. Yeah, you, you put. No. I'll make it later. You want to bring it up again? I'll say it again. Here, we'll do it again. Oh, let's do. Hey, let's do a fake intro. Yeah, everybody make a hey, lot of noise. Let's do a fake intro where you, yeah, everybody scream. You come walking up and then just cut to the other opening. Are you ready? Ready. Right, do it. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kazis, are y'all ready for your headliner tonight? Make some noise! Yeah. Yeah. You've seen him on Comedy Central, HBO, Las Vegas Comedy Festival. Put your hands together for Chad Barron! Yeah. I hope I'm funny because I finally made it. <laughs> Get that shit? Got it. All right, I better see it on YouTube tomorrow. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have come to the end of yet another show. What did we learn? <laughs> to be on time? No. <laughs> to leave early? Hmm. Friendship. Uh, friendship. That's what we. Yeah. We're all friends now. Let's smoke pot together. All right, that's it. Uh, you can still have another drink. She's not closed quite yet, but uh, let's do the show uh, again next uh, whatever first Thursday of the month. They also do one the third Thursday of the month. Don't forget Raven, comedy legend and uh, part-time wrestler, will be here July eighth. Check that out. You can get tickets right now if you want. It's gonna be great. Other than that, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time around. Cause Comedy Club. Big round of applause for them. Keep supporting live comedy. My name is Jay Gates. Good night.